invite it all, mate. No, then it's drink of the week time. Yes, drinking. And it's my favorite, one of my favorite pastimes. It's probably number. Uh, yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> it probably is. Yeah, it's probably one and two for me to be honest. No, if you haven't watched before, Doria doesn't know what I get for drink of the week. It's all a mystery. Mystery, mystery, mystery. I treated him last week and mistreated my. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The wino. To, oh, big thanks to Jamshad, by the way, for watching our review because he actually watched it. And, um, yeah, he did. It. Yeah, it was really so, nice. Thank you it? for that, Jamshad. Cheers, that. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to get a bit of uh, to know there's somebody out there watching. I suppose. So, yeah. My heart, thank you. My liver does not. No, he was. Yeah, I think he was in a bad way. Oh shit! I got some very, really sort of sporadic. Um, what's the right word? Sporadic cryptic messages <laughs> on Sunday. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he weren't really. I was not well. Yeah, he weren't well. I was not well. Um, Right, episode 10, I thought I'd get something a little bit special. Mm. So, we've got a beer. Special for special people. Now, we've got a beer, right, but it's um, higher, hierarchy. Creme a la, de la creme. Now, one of my favourite beers, especially when we're all this Sunday, I don't know why, it's Peroni. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah? Yeah. So, we have got, for episode 10, a bottle of Peroni. Ooh. Grand Reserva. Oh, yes. Doppio Malto, which I googled and means double malt. Oh, lovely. Um, it's a nice bottle. It is a lovely bottle, yeah. isn't it? There's absolutely there's no description on it at all. It doesn't need one. It doesn't, because you, you know it. what? All they've done is they've put... Oh, fucking hell. Get out of my angle like this. <laughs> the Beer Awards, 2018, four stars. Tasting Gold, 2007. World Beer Awards, Europe, Bronze... <sighs> Uh, Continental Beer Awards 2013 gold medal. It's like Cristiano Ronaldo's uh, medal. Kind yeah. of, isn't it? International Brewing Awards gold medal 2015 brewed and bottled in Italy. Nice. Uh, it's a, it's got a big smack to it, that mate. That's six point six percent. Christ. Yeah. Absolutely. So we will tread carefully with this one. Of course you can, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That was from Morrison's, and it was two pounds seventy-five pence. Nice, just under a pint's worth, but. Uh, yeah, an impressive uh, award. Um, I like how they've done. I like how they've done that. They've gone. You know what? I ain't explaining to you. Yeah. That's what we want. Yeah, show me the silverware, and they've yeah. done it. Yeah, nice bottle as well. Yeah, I actually thought somebody had copped up and mis, you know, mis, yeah. mis- shelved a bottle of prosecco or something like that. Yeah, nice. Well, it looks good. Looks good. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll as I always do, because we do these little transitions as well. You can't really see from this section, so I'll just show you the le- the uh, label. The bottle now, so here it is. So, yeah, nice that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, really nice. So, I'm excited. Missing a cork, maybe. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. a little cork. Mind you, I always injure myself with that. Yeah, good fun, though. Ooh, smoking like a champers. It is, isn't it? I'll pour this properly for you, don't know. Oh. I can smell it already. Oz Clark. We need to get a comment from Oz Clark. Yeah, come on, Oz, mate. It's quite green. Is it my eyes? It's very amber. Yeah, it's that amber, yeah. Yeah. Looks good. I like a bottle. Because we don't want another glass mal. What volume is it? 6.6%. 6. I don't want another glass malfunction like last week, so I'll be safe with bottle. Yeah. Yeah, I got white piss wine all over my lip myself last week. Oh, it smells really malty, that. Yeah, it does, not it? And I'm a massive beer drinker, but I'm all for Peroni, so, um, mm. so yeah, cheers. 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 And uh, here's to another 10 episodes. Ooh, that is nice. It's weird. No. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to go Mr. Clark on you. When you taste it, you think, oh my God, that's going to be dead strong. And just when you think it, yeah, it stops. Yeah, I was just, do you know what? I was, going to, I, I, I was going to say something very similar. It's like, it goes, it's like a punch ready to hit you in the face. And then it goes, oh no. Sorry. Yeah, I'll let you off, mate. I'll let you yeah, off. Right. And everything just lines up. Yeah, it's one like, I'm going to fucking smack you, yeah. but, and then you go, oh, and you go, no, I'm only joking, but I will. Yeah, which is dangerous, really, because this would get you absolutely levered. You would get paced yeah. off a couple of them. Yeah, would, yeah. Oh, nice, Incidentally, they were, uh, they were an offer in Morrison's, they were two for four quid. Yeah, it doesn't taste as strong as it is. That's really nice. Yeah, though. it is nice. Yeah, it's a nice drink, man. Mm. It's think. light, but not... Wishy washy, if that makes sense. It's yeah, like it an easy drinker, yeah. but it's like woof, give you give you a bit of a. Woof. It totally 
Belays, is that the right word? Belays the strength that it is. Mm. It doesn't taste like a 6.6% beer. No, it does usually, when, usually when you get them that alcohol, yeah. it's oh, dark and bitter. And, yeah. And, 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 yeah, it is. But no, this is very nice. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I could drink that, but that, I'll tell you right now, that is dangerous. That is lethally dangerous. You could have, well, you couldn't, you'd be absolutely leathered. I reckon a four, four of them, you'd be you'd be anybody's. Yeah. Your Emma would be in danger. Yeah. Wouldn't she? With a bent neck. It might take more than four. No, I think four would do, me, to be honest. Probably. Yeah, probably would do. But, uh, no, it really, really nice, that. Really nice. Nice bottle, lovely brew. Never heard of it. I hadn't, to be honest. No. It. it was the... I purely got it because um, they, they've been clever. They put it at the top. Uh, I just saw the Peroni. Yeah. Thought I like Peroni. I've never heard of the Grand Reserva. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> it's, come, it's coming right back to hold so straight away. Boosh. <laughs> That's impressive, that. Yeah. It is nice. Yeah, apparently it's double fermented. That's why it's so strong. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, you, yeah, it'd be a. It's a sipper. It's a sipper. You couldn't go on a night out on it. You'd be absolutely slaughtered. If you got a pint of it, if that was on draft somewhere and you were a pint of it, and they said to you, how strong do you reckon that beer is? You'd go, four and a half, yeah, five. Yeah, I was just going to say that. It's like a regular, it tastes like a regular lager. It turns its strength, but the flavour's nice. Mm. Really nice flavour. So for me, absolute winner. Yeah. Yeah, it really, really is. It's probably the first beer, other than my good... <laughs> oh, it's beloved Quench Quake. My good friend. Which was one of the stars of episode seven. Seven. Yeah. Quite great. I've had it every week ever since. So if you think this is just one six hour episode <laughs> that, we've, that we've written, it's not. We've changed clothes since then and we've slept many, many times since then. But uh, yeah, it's, this is lovely, by the way. Yeah, Brew Dot Quench Quake, which is you. Grapefruit. I still have to look at the label. Grapefruit Tangerine Brew, really nice. But uh, that's more of a unusual drink because yeah. it's it's different but this is like you cl- it's like a classic beer with balls isn't it it tastes very much like um the regular peroni but you can tell there's a there's a bit of a yeah because peroni's got like a light citrusy taste doesn't it mm. whereas it's like a yeah it's just nice and it's like, but it's got a bit of a bit of a bang behind it yeah. that, that's just everything but upper level isn't it yeah it really is so score time score time um, Jam Shed last week was my highest score I've ever given. <laughs> but what, what score did you give it on Sunday morning? <laughs> <A two. laughs> would, you have, would you have swilled some round your mouth just, oh, just double, double, double check oh, your score? I was saying door and door. I was in bed last Sunday morning and I thought, oh I've got I woke up, I looked at my watch, it was five o'clock in the morning. And I'm going, oh you've got head ache, you dickhead, you drunk red wine, you know you don't, you can't drink red wine. And I'm thinking to myself, oh I don't feel well, I don't feel well. I don't feel well. I really don't feel well. Oh. And I was driving the porcelain bus for about an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, yeah. dear. But that's not that's not a reflection on Jam Shed. No, that's a it was lovely. On my uh, yeah, red wine noobiness. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's true though. We were saying though, because you drink whiskey, don't you? Yeah. See, I can't. I'd be. I'd have been like what he was like last week. Yeah. But wine, I'm fine. I can yeah. drink wine like 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 by the by the bucket load. But uh, but the whiskey, you know, yeah, I'd, I'd have been I'd have been eating. I'd have been. I can drink loads of whiskey. I do get yes, yeah. but yeah, but you can cope with it. I'm cope with it. Yeah, it's I can. Weird, isn't it, people? It's very I'm, weird. I'm yeah, all different things. Yeah, yeah, it is strange. Yeah, uh, we went top of one, then, weren't we? Mm. Right, scoring. So Jam Shed last week, I gave a nine point two, which was my highest ever score. I can't remember what I gave last week. It was a nine or something. Oh, yeah. It was. It was very. I think it was. A, was it a high eight or a nine? Yeah, something like that. He said. He said it was a bit too sweet for you. I think. Yeah, he did have a bit of a. I lived up to his name. Just had a bit of a sweet thing at the end. I'm like, uh, yeah, like uh, sort of a uh, little more bitter, sour stuff. But. Um, wrong to compare beer and wine. So you just go for it. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's very, don't you? Yeah. Um, I very, very, very much like it, but it hasn't surprised me as much as the jam shed. No. But it's up there. And another. Dorn and Dean first. I'm gonna go round up of nine. Oh yeah, that's unusual for you. Usually go you. You like decimals, don't you? I do. I'm gonna go nine. Strong that. Very strong, like the beer. Um, for me, and I suppose you've always got to score it through what you're used to in your own what you drink. So I'm not gonna go as high as that only because I'm not a beer drinker. But if I was a beer drinker, 
it would be a stronger score than I'm going to give it. So I'm probably going to give it a strong 7.5 for me. So, and that's uh, that's a strong beer score for me. Yeah. Without a doubt. So yeah, 7.5 out of 9. If we were out and you saw that in a fridge, would you go hard one? Probably not. But if I tasted it, I might do. Mm. No, I mean after now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely have one. I'd have a pint of it. Yeah. But I won't have many more than that because it would, it would do you serious damage. Yeah, you'd be going over in a wheelbarrow. Yeah, <laughs> again, yeah, yeah, it's true that no, you wouldn't do any more. <gasps> uh, what I'll do because we're on uh, episode ten now. Um, so for drink of the week this week, what I'll do is when I get home, much later, <laughs> much later, and if I remember, <laughs> um, I'll do as a top ten of the drink of the week. All right, and okay. we'll declare our top ten champion for all yeah. the ten episodes. <sighs> yes. So it'll be interesting to find that because yeah. I can't remember half of them. That's the thing, that's why I just couldn't do it then. I'll have to review it. Yeah, Jam well. stuck in my mind. Yeah, it was stuck all the way on the old as well. <laughs> 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 well, We've all done it. We've all done it, kids. You know, you know that's true. You know that's true. Absolutely. <laughs> so, without further, I think we're that last seconds to the end of Drink of the Week, I think, isn't it? So, yeah. So. Well, uh, yeah, so episode uh, 10 is Drink of the Week, so it feels like a milestone, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, but, but it, uh, a very apt milestone because it's been a winner. So, uh, well done, Peroni. Nice brew. So, without further ado, I think we'll move on to, uh, to this. Yeah.